Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today bringing you a quick video on one of my favorite items in the entire golf bag, and that's a putter. And if you watched my video from the PGA show, you saw that I actually met with this company. It's Argolf Putters. I want to show you this beautiful putter that I custom ordered through the company. I'm bringing it to you right now. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay, thanks again for watching and welcome back. If you're new here to our channel here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf equipment, reviews on golf simulator products and golf equipment, and pretty much information on anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in building a setup like what you see here behind me, check out our landing page at www.rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf. We've lined up a whole bunch of really cool products for you. And you're gonna see the website here on the screen down there, I believe, as long as we have this video running. So make sure to check it out. Let us know what you think about some of our product recommendations and if there's anything that we haven't recommended that you'd like to see at home. Let me take you into the putter review and show you exactly what I ordered and why I feel this putter is a really incredible product for you at home if you're in a market to look for a putter here in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and show you this putter up close and check out that blue on that putter. Look how gorgeous that is. And I wanted to really show you two things that they did for me. Number one, I had them add the Garage Golf logo to the bottom, which is really, really nice. And if you look at the front, it actually has the Garage Golf guy here in the, in the golf ball as well. And on the top, they did a really cool blue with an orange alignment, two orange alignment lines. So this is the Argolf Uther putter. And the bottom, you see a little bit more. It's a cool design. It has a, an S-neck slant putter, and it has a super stroke traction grip. It's a 2.0. So really cool stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I just kind of wanted to show you up close a little bit more detail on that putter. But overall, the blue color is my favorite. Definitely something that I wanted as soon as I saw it. All right, so obviously Gilbert and I had a lot of fun doing that video. Had a great time being on the actual golf course. We've had some pretty nasty weather here, and uh, obviously in the winter time. And I'm in San Antonio, Texas, by the way, but we've had some weather here that um, has been traditionally, untraditionally cold and wet and rainy. So I was excited to finally get this putter out on the actual golf course. And of course, you know, you're not gonna make every putt, no matter how much you spend on a putter. But to me, if you're gonna customize a putter or get a high-end putter, such as this one, the Argolf putter, then com compared to something like Scotty Cameron and you spending four or maybe $500 on a putter and then having to go through a customization process with Scotty's custom shop, 
and having to add more to that to get features like what you want, your own custom colors, your own custom sight lines. I think Argoff is a really good option for anybody out there that maybe has a little bit of money to spend on a nice custom putter. And to be honest, it just makes you feel better pulling out of the bag and seeing something like this. And of course, you know, this, this is my vice. I don't really spend money on a lot of things, but the one thing I do like is putters. And if you looked in my bag, I probably have five or six putters in there, which don't tell my wife, of course, but she knows, but that's my, that's my one vice. It's definitely one that I, I really enjoy. But I have a feeling this is staying in my bag for quite a while. It's unlike any other putter I've ever had. I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. I like the customization features of it. So it's definitely something that I look forward to testing out and also using with golf simulation here in the future. But I am actually going to visit uh, Florida in July and that's where our, our golf is located. And I hope to do a video there as well to show you because the customization things that you can do on it, you can really make it your own. You could add your own colors, your own sight lines. They could pretty much do what you want to do to it, including even modifying the shaft. As you see, it has the black shaft here, uh, but there's different options there. I saw some at the show with Batman logos and different things. So maybe if I go there in person, I might do another video to kind of walk you through that customization process and how in-depth that will actually go. I look forward to doing that for you as well. So... Let us know if you have any questions on the Argolf putter. Again, this is the Uther. They have different options. They have blade options, mid mallet options, and again, full mallet options like this one for anyone at home that's interested in putters. Uh, but I look forward to showing you a little bit more about that here in the future. Uh, if you liked our video, please give us a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. And if you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like what you saw here today. Consider joining our Facebook group as well. That's how we communicate with you guys at home, answer any questions you have, of course, if you don't have Facebook and you have a question for me, reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. I'll put the info down below. As always, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Had a great time doing this video. You know, putter videos aren't the most sexy things to do, but I really enjoy putters a lot, and I really enjoyed the experience working with our golf. So I thought I'd share it with you guys at home. Let me know if you have any questions on it again. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And as always, until next time, keep on golfing.